Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. Today we're doing a strange tactic, which is awesome! We are going to play AP Maokai in the mid lane. So hopefully that will work out to be very interesting indeed. Um, I've never seen that. I've seen Maokai in top lane. I've seen him in jungle obviously, because he's normally played in jungle. But I've never seen him in the mid lane. And um, yeah, that's where he is going. So starting, of course, boots and potions, because that is what you do in the mid lane. Well, that's what you do virtually anywhere. And oh, there we go. So boots and potions. Uh, the longsword and potions for our jungler here. Boots and potions. And yeah, in general, just a whole lot of sustain here. And then because this is Tarek, it is a healing support. We go for Tristana as um, uh, or for the Doran's Blade on Tristana. So going the sapling toss first because the sapling toss can scout around. Um, yeah, I wouldn't expect anything else. I mean, you not be going to be in lane for the arcane smash normally, and this brand can see him so. So yeah, not, not going for the real help on the blue buff. I don't know if he tossed in a sapling, but uh, that would be good enough, by the way. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't really have to be there. So the sapling toss is going to allow him to pick up some minions. Uh, it is, of course, kind of a tricky business. And you can see that from the fact that he still has zero minions after the first wave. Well, after the first five of them died. And yeah, the sapling toss is really because it does damage when it lands, and then when it, uh, uh, yeah, when it explodes, and in between there's a little bit of a, well, of a period where your minions can actually steal all of that. But once you get some AP going, he has 24 AP already just to start off. But uh, once you get uh, some AP going, you should be able to uh, last hit with the, the uh, saplings pretty nicely. And yeah, you can see here that he's not used to getting that, uh, well, to using the saplings to last hits, and he is going to stay alive here. No real problems, uh, Brand did fl flash for that. He flashed for that too, but uh, Brand flashed for it uh, to get that stun off, but it was never going to work to actually get a kill. And yeah. That's when y you should know uh, as a champion, so as Brand in this case, how much damage you can do. And yeah, you don't have to know the exact number, but you have to see from... Oh, hang on. So, yeah, I got a phone call there and I couldn't really hang up. So for the next 9 minutes and 38 seconds, I'm going to just talk about this gameplay from... Well, after the game, so the rest of the game has already been uh, recorded. And yeah, I, d I didn't want to talk about just the game. Uh, I just read some... Uh, so after I, I was done with this game, I was uh, compiling this piece uh, to be able to comment on it. And I read some comments in the meantime, because it takes a while to to do. And wow, there are a lot of nasty comments on my channel. Oh yeah, I haven't been reading the comments a lot lately because people said that I shouldn't, but I still like to because it's the only way for you guys to give me some feedback and things like that. But wow, it's all of these guys that come in for like one video and think they are gods and they are the best players ever, and they come and uh, and comment on well my videos without understanding what they're talking about and oh, it annoys me so much but hey I'm just not going to react to that uh, on that uh, I'm going to just yeah ignore them either ignore them or if it's just too nasty just delete the comments and um, yeah that way hopefully we will be done and I won't get annoyed too much so anyway going into the game here. So Maokai having some trouble uh, last hitting. 
because obviously he wants to stay away from uh, Brandt a little bit because Brandt can do quite a lot of damage instantly but Brandt isn't really farming up a whole lot either. He is um, last hitting a, li a little bit better I think because well Maokai is uh, a melee champion and Brandt of course is ranged so yeah he has a little bit easier time to farm than Maokai and um, yeah, that makes that Maokai will need to work with what he has currently and go for yeah, well the easy uh, the easy minions as well as for whatever farm he can get with his saplings. But as you can see, he is out of mana, so that means that yeah, his uh, uh, his potential to get those back minions with uh, the sapling is really gone. And Brandt is out of mana, so has to run back there, or, well, didn't have to, but he did. So he is going to stand way behind the minions now, and hope that nothing will happen to him. But he's a little bit too afraid of Maokai here. He should see that Maokai has no uh, no mana, so the only thing he can do, so Maokai can do, is just do one spell. And, yeah, Brandt is still going to get most of the minions, so pretty good deal for him and it seems that Maokai is recalling there we go so yeah I uh, recorded this while on the phone so didn't really get to do a whole lot so we're just going to follow around <laughs> Maokai a little bit and um, <laughs> it's just not the greatest of all uh, well in video quality so I didn't really get to, uh, or well, didn't really have the ability to uh, see other lanes and such because I was, as I said, on the phone trying to make this work, trying to not stop the commentary halfway through because then I would have to reset everything and um, yeah, I didn't want to do that. So I decided to go for a commentary afterwards and since nothing, ha well, really important happened, um, that I couldn't comment on later, uh, yeah, it's no problem. I mean, obviously, I know already what's going to happen. And as I said, this is going to last for um, 9 minutes 38 seconds, which means 5 minutes more. And yeah, if you, uh, if you bear with me for that time, I will be back to my normal commentary in, well, as I said, about 5 minutes. So Brent, yeah, he is uh, full hel uh, full mana again, full health also, and uh, going to go aggressive on Maokai here. So Maokai just uh, taking it all and not really caring. He do does have his first gold item here, and he does have a ward. The ward, of course, very important against, uh, I think it's Shivana jungle on the enemy team. I'm not actually sure. It's like four games today already, so I've seen a lot. <laughs> not all of them made it to my channel, and um, yeah, that's because not every game is uh, kind of good enough. Or well, yeah, my commentary is sometimes off, and then I have to redo it. And I really hate doing that, but sometimes I do that if the commentary is really bad, like in this game. I couldn't really get motivated for some reason for uh, the less interesting parts. So you always have a lot of farming in uh, in games, especially in the bottom lane. And um, yeah, you just oh here we go getting the kill, but Brand getting killed back because the minions definitely helping out there. And. Yeah, I couldn't really get uh, excited about the the small stuff, so in the farming phase, and that is of course really a problem, because most of the people that watch this want to really, um, well, want me to really emphasize whatever is going on, and yeah, farming, especially in bottom lane, is just not really fun to see. So anyway, they trade one for one there, and uh, Maokai getting a little bit lucky. 
by um, yeah by picking up that kill because if the minions didn't focus that brand he wouldn't have died or would still be really close but he wouldn't have died and yeah brand for the first time aggressive and that immediately resulted in a kill well no it's not the first time he went aggressive I think but yeah enemy double kill there And Brand getting a kill in top lane. So that is not good. And Brand is now back in uh, in the mid lane. He has some AP here, so he can now uh, kill the entire minion wave with, uh, or at least the back line of the minions, with uh, two spells. And yeah, that is a, a good thing to have as brand, obviously. Because if you can do that, you uh, won't have to spend a whole lot of mana on that. So, yeah, that is a good thing to have, in general. So, the jungler is coming in. It is indeed Shivana jungle, so I remember that correctly. And Warwick seems to be coming in as well. With uh, Shivana running out. Shivana actually going into the jungle there doesn't realize she's actually well they can actually spot her and yeah it seems that um, <laughs> Warwick is going for this uh, this mid lane and yeah Maokai was doing the raids so he wasn't really happy about that and there we go we gra he grabs the uh, the brands and with the both of them they get a very easy kill and wow lots of enemies have been slain all of a sudden it seems that the top lane got the Shivana but got killed for it himself and or herself I don't even know who's top I think Vladimir's top against Timo so Timo, who has been farming up a crap ton of minions, but we'll see that in the end game <laughs> because I didn't even pay attention to that, and all of a sudden he had like 300 and something minions, and that was pretty impressive. So anyway, uh, that's the end of the filler commentary. We saw two kills. I hope you enjoyed. And in five seconds we go back to the regular commentary. And we are continuing. So yeah, I will fill the gap in between this with some, uh, well, after the fact commentary. So we saw a gang coming in from, well, the well. First of all, we saw a nice trade. I don't know if that was still in the commentary, but um, yeah, they they traded. Now I'm pretty sure I uh, didn't comment on that. So yeah, first they traded and then, oh, this is painful. Then uh, we saw a gang coming in and all in all, they got two kills where he got uh, killed once. And yeah, <laughs> he just, uh, well, went in when there were two enemy champions there. And that is, of course, not what you want to happen. So anyhow, he's doing pretty well here in mid. I don't know how he's doing minion-wise. Uh, he is currently at 90 versus 87, so he's actually ahead in minions. And that is pretty surprising, as uh, yeah, I've never seen anyone play this in mid. But yeah, he is very strong, and he can AoE farm pretty well. And the enemy team is going for the dragon here. So Warwick and Tristana are going to come in, going to attempt to steal that, but it is just too risky. And Brand is going to get focused here, but oh, it is one versus four, well, three versus four, I guess, but oh, yeah, that was not a good engage by, um, by the Warwick. And... Everyone's going to get out? No, no, come on, still have a chance, come on, we still... No, we don't. Hmm. 
they do pick up a kill. And is Tristana going to get out? It seems that she is going to be fine. And yeah, Tarek is also going to get out. So, wow. So yeah, that was a very unwise fight to get into. Because the whole enemy team was there, obviously. They were doing Dragon. And then Warwick jumps in uh, to uh, three enemies all on his own. And then the fourth enemy, well, showed up. And the fourth enemy just... Uh, yeah, just just randomly attacked the... Uh, well, the two that were remaining. And eventually they do get the rise, but it's just not a good deal. It was really risky and they paid the price for it. That's the main thing. So anyhow, did get an assist off of that. So yeah, the uh, <laughs> the bottom lane is still uh, under heavy pressure from this second dude here. And yeah, there is a ward in the bush, so they did get spotted. So we have Rice, uh, Graves and Brand in bottom lane. There's no way they can hold this off. They need to fall back. Uh, yeah, there goes the turret. It didn't show the amount of HP that was left, but... At least no one gets killed when the turret falls. So team are going to take some free damage there from the sapling. And... Yeah, uh, he's going to run top again, but still. So, Graves doing a little bit of damage, not really a big deal, and we are going to just continue on. The AP is building up, uh, it's 82 now, uh, has the 20 magic penetration combined with what he already had, which is 29% uh, penetration plus the 10%. But in general, he is doing pretty well because of these gold items. He has three gold items, which should make him... Uh, that's not the right screen. This is the right screen. Which should make him able to do pretty much whatever in, uh, in his item build later on. So Brand currently has no AP yet. Oh, he just came in lane with almost completed... Um, what's it called? Uh, Rylas Crystal Scepter. And yeah, once he finishes that, of course, he will be tanky enough to take a lot of damage. And wow, Brand actually taking quite a bit of damage there, as did Rice. Uh, but Brand actually tanking the turret for quite a while because of that stun, of course, or snare, or whatever this is supposed to be. It's a root. Yeah, that's all the same. It's a, it's just a snare. And just because you call it something different doesn't mean that it is something different. It's the same as a Mumu has, but then as a snare instead of a stun. So Tristana getting the kill there, which is fine. Because Tristana skills really well into late game. So just doing that, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, that was really lucky that she was there. And Tarek coming in to land a hand, but not really necessary. And now Rice is coming in. And how did he... Was there still a minion there? Okay. I didn't see the minion. But you cannot, uh, well, spiral to your own minion. Twisted advance to your own minion. So, yeah, I guess... There must have been a minion there. So yeah, taking a little bit of damage from Rice there, and uh, Rice, I think he was a support early on. Yeah, he doesn't have anything yet. So Rice, really only a little bit of mana, doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. He is still useful, of course, because of the snare. But yeah, 
in general you want a lot of mana on Rice, and Rice is not really good as a support champion. So did they steal the blue or... no the blue was already down. So yeah bottom lane is um, getting close to getting a kill here. Oh, nobody's following up on that Warwick initiate and no they're not going to do anything with it <laughs> second time we see Warwick ults into a situation where there's no backup for him so yeah indeed once again nobody follows in and that means that well it is not a good deal for this Warwick because he's the one getting killed and yeah there he goes Warwick getting killed so yeah Warwick uh, using his ultimate twice now to do nothing and that is a big investment because well it is a really important ultimate to start team fights or to start fights in general So people are complaining about Maokai and yeah, as, as he says, what do you want me to do? There's nothing Maokai can do here. So the blue may have been taken by this guy. Oh no, she goes really low but doesn't really get in range to get uh, to get killed. I thought she might come back but she decides not to. So yeah, um, not a whole lot you can do on um, on these kind of situations because if your team blames you, then they blame you. It it doesn't mean that you did anything wrong. It just means that they want to blame someone, and they don't want to take responsibility for their own actions. So in this case, yeah, I really think they're well because of the the spectator mode being off. I cannot really say this, but. It seems they are overextending a little bit too often and well getting killed in places where they shouldn't even be. So and then uh, going in like 2 versus 4 which we saw in the dragon fight. Uh, so first of all uh, uh, Warwick going in all on his own there and then later on a 2 versus 4 by Tristana and Tarek. That is just not smart play. And they should know this because this is like 1700, 1800 ELO. And yeah, of course, I'm not sure if this is a ranked game. It might be, but it may also just be a normal game. And if this is a normal game, then yeah, I can see that he gets uh, somewhat worse allies than, uh, than in his ranked games. But yeah, this happens in all levels of play. So this happens in, in the, like the 800 ELO bracket, but it also happens in the 2K ELO bracket. And if it happens to the pros, then yeah, what protection do we have? So two guys getting killed immediately, and actually four guys, five guys getting killed. And this was not good. I wish I could re-see that team fight. Um, yeah, so I wish I could rewind it because that would would have been good. And oh, is she going to die? Does Baron have damage over time? No, 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 no. He does not. So yeah, complaining a lot here in the chat and that's why I love the new uh, spectator mode because the chat gets, gets blocked immediately and here I cannot block the chat, cannot take it out and that is just, well, kind of sad for me. Um, we are currently at 185 versus 127 so 60 minions over the enemy 
which is um, uh, about four kills. So he is currently at let's say uh, four and three compared to this three and three. But he is still behind on gold because the eight assists are more than the three assists. But yeah, he is uh, starting to build some items. Of course, he is ahead in gold because of the gold items. But I'm not actually sure how that works out in the end. Um, this is going to charge up a little bit more, I think. An enemy has been oh. slain. Yeah, so they do grab a kill there on Graves. And now it is a 5 versus 4 team fight. We can finally get something done. They get one. They may not want to go for the second one. But Tristana disagrees. And Tristana gets... Well, nuked quite a bit for that. She did use her heal. and Or she just healed up on some minions or something like that. Because she might have just a crap ton of lifesteal. No, she does not. So... She used her heal. Or Tarek used his heal. That could be as well. And taking another tower shot. But yeah, the one tower shot is not the problem. It's taking like three in a row. That is the problem. So finally they get something done here. And yeah, finally they work as a team. And start chaining the stuns together. And is this guy going to live? Oh, no heal come out from Tarek. I don't know who, who he used it on. It must have been on cooldown because he just used it. But, okay. Sure. So, yeah. Two carries going into this Rice. And Rice is still very low. But he could actually flash out... And they are going to once again stun him, but nobody to follow up. And Derek is going to finish that kill, but is going to get killed for it. Yeah, that's quite unfortunate. Um, of course, that was not intended. Uh, Derek, who is 1 and 5, gave away 300 gold there, even though he was worth about, I don't know, 100 something, 120 or something like that. So uh, Marka needs to play, place down some of these uh, uh, scouting saplings. But instead is going to start the dragon. And there is a ward going down right now. So dragon is going to run after him. And yeah, I think the enemy is indeed at the Baron. And yep, they did it. It is finished. At least this time nobody got killed for that. But yeah, like Warwick said, I don't think they could have contested that anyway. I think the enemy had that right from the get-go. So there was really no way for them to, well, to go in and uh, get that dragon. It seems nobody wants the blue. Makai is way too far. And... <laughs> Blue is resetting. Nobody's coming from the before the blue, so he might as well just take it himself. Yeah, there he goes. Markay already went home, so he didn't really... Uh, he wasn't really in any position to get it. So yeah, Timo farming up this mid lane. Uh, Maikai just uh, keeps on farming with uh, Vladimir, who's also still farming. That's excellent, of course. We want to have as much gold as possible on these guys. And it seems that, yeah, everyone is pretty farmed up. Let's see the items here. Uh, so the items for Tristana, she has Infinity Edge, Blood uh, Phantom Dancer, and a Vampire Scepter. That looks really good 
for her um, on the enemy team they will have a similar thing on yeah so a similar thing on uh, graves and be that's because that is the the only build that really does damage it's such a shame that there aren't any more useful items and especially utility wise it would be good if there was something else But yeah, there is no good utility item for AD carries, at least not something that will actually be worth the gold you invest and, of course, the item spot. Because both of those are really uh, the costs of an item, it's not just the amount of gold you, get, uh, you have to put in, it's also the fact that you have to sacrifice a whole slot to that. Um, is he going to? Yeah, he is going to grab the big raid there at least. Timo is coming in. And yeah, Timo did spot him there. Not really sure how, but sure. They may have a ward in that bush as well. So the enemy team is not really making use of the fact that they have this Baron buff and instead just trying to assault this mid lane but mid lane is um, well defended by our team and with our team defending this mid lane it is of course very hard to break that uh, well as long as they defend it well because well every time they nuke down a minion wave they're yeah there's no way to push in unless you want to go in completely so tower dive and all but besides that yeah well they do have a stun on Tarek and a snare on uh, Maokai and then we have the uh, ultimates from Warwick and the Tristana ultimate so it's, it's really hard to stick to one of the champs <laughs> oh wow this guy is so dead that is not even going to be close so Marika grabs that kill, but they need to back off. I think that's a good call. Grabbing that one kill is really good, but you are still behind. They still have Baron, and yeah, kill-wise they're behind. So now, um, uh, with his Rod of Ages at full, uh, yeah, he can finally start doing stuff. Well, not start doing stuff. He uh, he's a load more tanky. Also have, has a lot more mana and ability power, and because of that, he can actually do the damage that is required in a team fight. And of course, stay alive because that is also very important. Um, let's see what Warwick's building because he started off with the uh, Rickles Lantern, and yeah, he's actually building. All kinds of tanky items, but doesn't really finish anything. So no frozen mallet yet, no uh, frozen heart, a lot of frozen stuff. <laughs> so yeah, frozen mallet would be an example of a utility item, but it's not useful for the bottom laners because they need to be focused on damage. So even the black cleaver um, would be kind of a utility item. But it's not a very good utility item, and that's the problem. That's why it's it's still used every now and then, because there are some uses for it. Especially if people stack uh, a lot of armor. And, well, on champions like Vayne, who uh, really live for the attack speed. Uh, yeah, it, it can be a really important item. So the enemy team, instead of using the Baron buff to do something useful, in fact only got uh, one death on their team. And so they didn't really make use of that at all. They got a negative score out of that. And of course they still have the 300 gold each. But yeah, well, they gave away about 500 gold, so... They won about a thousand gold, and since the uh, the green team here took the Baron, uh, the Dragon, sorry, uh, they gained a thousand gold, so all in all it's again pretty equal. They came out of that uh, 
out of that fight kind of in the same uh, amount and uh, let's just hope that next time they can actually grab the Baron and can actually make something out of that so Warwick does have Frozen Heart now he still has the Phage uh, which does work I mean you don't really need the frozen, uh, the frozen mallets to do the thing it does, but it's just better that way. It's uh, because it uh, then procs on every uh, on every attack instead of just once every so often. But yeah, the uh, the the phage in itself is pretty good. Oh, that was pretty painful. I don't know where the Vladimir ultimate landed. Oh, well, hang on, Vladimir is on our team. That is why. <sighs> yeah. That was a bad, bad fight. 3 for 0, or rather 0 for 3. Baron comes up, and yeah, indeed this shit all over again so oh close but no cigar and no baron Yeah, it's such a shame there's nothing they can do about the turret now. The last time they defended pretty easily and pretty well. But this time it, that's not going to work because they already lost the turrets and they didn't get the dragon this time. So, yeah, this time they're going to be severely behind. And if the enemies also get the dragon and get another turret here, they are actually way up. You will actually get 3,000 gold out of the Baron kill. And out of those uh, 3 kills, well, the 3 kills themselves, I'm not even counting those, but... The Baron already 1,500 gold, the turret they took another 750, the dragon would be another 1,000, and... Um, yeah, so all in all, that is a crap ton of gold, and... It's just so hard to go against. So yeah, the enemy doing a good job of taking down their jungle as well. But, you know, well, the lanes are still free to farm. Enemy team not actually in mid, not pressuring any turrets. And that might actually be their downfall. I don't know how low they were after that team fight. But or after that, uh, while well, taking down that second turret. No, it's not actually second turret. They didn't take it down. But yeah, after that uh, that fight in the bottom lane, I don't know how low everyone was, maybe uh, they needed to go home. But they aren't really putting pressure on any lane with their Baron buff, so this uh, green team sorry, is um, able to farm just as they would normally do. And yeah, the only thing is that they lost some turrets, so... So Rylas Crystal Scepter added to the mix, getting a really tanky build going, and that is awesome. Also amplifying the damage that uh, Tristana and Vladimir do. Yeah, Tristana's da damage is, um, although she is uh, an AD champion, so does a lot of just physical damage, her skills do uh, all kinds of magic damage, and that gets amplified by the Abyssal Scepter. Of course he does have 3400 HP now and a pretty decent amount of armor and magic resist 132, 106 that is a good deal you definitely want that on your team so he's getting tanky he's getting AP and therefore he should be able to do the damages
Yeah, don't know. Don't know what the plan is here. It seems that uh, they are pretty much satisfied just waiting around until this Baron buff wears off. And the enemy team, yeah, they got one kill, uh, uh, one uh, turret out of that, out of the Baron once again. But they're going to lose this team fight, and our team is going to take over. They're going to, well, just. Get two kills for zero, I think. Hang on. Oh wow, getting a third kill, getting a fourth kill, wow. Four kills for zero. That is pretty good. Uh, even though the enemy had Baron. And, oh, I missed that. So Timo landed a mushroom, it seems. Oh no, he's still up. He might actually... Yeah, he might, uh, it, or well, he actually got a lot of minions, so a lot of damage. I think he was still up and he was waiting somewhere. So yeah, they may actually be able to finish it here. Well, no, not may, they are going to finish it here. So Maokai was the only one to die and that was the perfect one to die because he had so much AP, uh, HP that they wasted so much uh, damage on him and yeah he's probably not even going to care about that so anyhow I um, hope you enjoyed I think it's a pretty interesting strategy and I will see you next time GG